Democracy Watch Initiative DWI has cautioned President-elect Bola Tinubu and the National Working Committee of All Progressives Congress APC against imposing leaders to represent various constituencies at the incoming 10th National Assembly, which is blatant encroachment on the legislative subversion of popular will and deviation from democratic principles of separation of power between three arms of government. They stated this in a communique after a one-day colloquium with theme Inclusive Participation for Sustainable Democracy in Kaduna. The convener Nasiru Abd Kadir Dambata says there is no better system of government than democratic process to produce leaders through free and fair elections, noting that all contestants to the Senate presidency and speakership should be given fair constitutional rights, irrespective of their region. All candidates for the House of Representatives speakership from the North should also be encouraged to subject their aspirations to voting. We, however, caution that the capacity, character, and competence should take priority above every other consideration during the voting process and call the candidates that lose to concede honorably and cooperate with those that win in order to make progress. The collection finally resolved to call the attention of the president-elect, Aswaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to be vigilant as to the political opportunities that surround him with the intent of forming another cabal who are behind this scheme aiming to pitch him against his traditional political friends and sections of the country. I implore the president-elect to reclaim the people's confidence in his untainted democratic credentials and commitment to entrenching sustainable democracy, restoring the, glo uh, loss, uh, the glory of governance, reclaiming the sanctity of constitutionalism and respect for the rule of law by coming out openly to renounce any purported anointment of preferred candidates. They appeal for capacity, character and competence to take priority above every other consideration during the voting process while calling all the candidates that lost to concede honorably and join in building the nation. While there is no better system of government than democracy, there is also no better way to produce leaders than democratic process of free and fair elections. The current attempt to impose leaders on people people of undoubtful maturity and proven experience, elected to represent their various constituencies in the, co in the incoming 10th National Assembly, amounts to a brutal encroachment on the sanctity of the legislature, uh, blatant subversion of popular will, and distant deviation from the democratic principle of separation of powers between the executive, legislature, and the judiciary. The leadership of the All Progressive Congress itself, a product of democratic election, and which subjected its presidential ticket uh, contest to elections, should now be the same party attempting to manipulate the system to one of selection and imposition. The colloquium, therefore, condemned the stubborn insistence on the resort to all tactics of imposing leaders on institutions as important as the National Assembly by the National Working Committee of the, of the party under its chairman, Abla Adam. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.